Hello, this is my Arch review. It was going to be uh, an Arch Bang review, but um, as I installed Arch Bang, I, I was going to install it as a main system anyways, and it just happened to be now a just full-blown Arch. So I'm just going to review Arch and Arch Bang in itself, even though you won't be seeing the Arch Bang part, but I'll explain why Arch Bang is important in the Arch review. But Arch on itself, uh, the installer, I did not... Uh, do because I did an ArchBang install. So, ArchBang is good if you want to run Arch, because ArchBang is an inst installs it not user friendly altogether, but it gives you a desktop. Um, my network works right out of the box instead of having to configure it through the command line like you would if you just were using Arch. And ArchBang is um, an open box distribution with a uh, live CD that you can install Arch in an easy way, and then you can install a desktop environment and other things from ArchBang. So that's what I did. And um, it's working really well. Um, it's very fast. The package system that it uses, Pac-Man, is just, um, it's very responsive. Everything's up to date. Uh, you just up to date the system by going Pac-Man, capital S-Y-U, oops, <laughs> Oh, unless I forgot, you have to be, so it would be pseudo pacman s y u And it just sees if there's anything up to date. I don't think it will be. Nope. So, and that's the Quake terminal for people who don't know what that is. Um, I have the KDE installed because uh, I don't really like GNOME 3. I don't really want Mate, and I like my effects, and my main computer runs Windows 7, so I might as well have a com uh, desktop that kind of replaces Windows 7. Now... Um, it's really good, but uh, Arch is definitely not for the, uh, uh, friendly user. It's, it's all for the advanced user, because the advanced user knows what he wants. If this, if you're just a person that just wants to web browse and do the office, then you just want to use Ubuntu or any other distribution, but I recommend Ubuntu or one of its derivatives like Li Linux Mint, Pen Guys, or and etc. Um, but with Arch, if you decide to go Arch, it is so incredibly quick. Everything. Um, the install isn't the quick. The inst installation is the quickest, I guess you could say. The, the, the actual install onto your hard drive. But the configuration to set it up to install on your hard drive um, still takes some time. You still have to read the documentation. Um, your, this page is going to be your friend. It, it opens up here because my laptop's a little slower. Um, you will always be. Um, at this page. You always want to be at the Arch Wiki and check out the documentation. Always click on the beginner's guide. And this will be your friend. <laughs> and anything else. Now installing packages, since it doesn't have a user front, front end, you use, uh, you can install a thing called Yowart. And it's uh, basically a graphical user, not graphical, it's basically a command line user interface for um, uh, the package system Yowart. You put Yower and let's say we'll put uh, Banshee. I already have it installed, but it'll show you all the stable ones, and then you just put in the number, and you click it, and you follow the steps. It's got they have tons of packages, um, repackaged for Arch, pretty much every program you could think of, and usually they're all up to date. Chrome and Firefox are all up to date, and I think Arch altogether is just really good system. This is going to be my main system now on my laptop, and it's very, very responsive um, for KDE, because Kubuntu is way slower on my laptop, but KDE on Arch is really fast, way faster than I expected. It's faster than Unity on Ubuntu, that's for sure. And I just really recommend this to any power user that knows what they're doing with Linux and they're still on Ubuntu. And... Um, I give it 10 out of 10 all the way, especially for up-to-date and freshness, but it's, uh, I give it like a 6 out of 10 on stability, because sometimes updates can break your system, and then like a 1 out of 10 for user-friendliness. But if you know what you want, Arch Linux is the way to go. So, thank you, and uh, leave a thumbs up if you want more, and uh, I'm probably going to have tutorials with Arch, and I'm going to be having more distro reviews in on the way. So.